Okay, today we're going to relearn the TPMS sensors on this 2013 Camaro that belongs to my son. Um, I have one of these EL-50448 uh, TPMS uh, sensor activators and what this is supposed to do is whenever you put your car in relearn mode which I'm about to do here in just a minute to show you to show you how this is supposed to work uh, on this particular model car on 2013 you cannot simply let the air out of the tire until you get the the horn to signal that it's recognized that sensor I think it was either 2011 or 2012 they changed that to where you have to have some kind of a activator that activates the sensor that triggers the sensor uh, to tell the module uh, you know to recognize it I don't know why they did that probably so you'd have to go back to the dealer or at least that was their thinking you know, and then they come out with these. This was literally ten dollars. It was like nine dollars, is all it was online. Now I'm going to tell you right now that this doesn't work worth the crap. At least this particular one doesn't. Now other people online, I have seen that they have been able to get these to work. Um, this is supposed to work on a lot of different cars, not just uh, General Motors, but it's supposed to work on on. Uh, you know, a, a, a ton of different makes and models, imports, uh, domestic. There's not really a, a, li a list that I've been able to find that specifically says the year and the models that this thing will work for, but I've seen kind of a broke down list uh, from people, you know, saying that it worked on, you know, Volkswagens and then Nissans and Toyotas and, you know, all the different vehicles. So I'm going to show you what I had to use to get this to work, and I know most of you is probably not going to have this tool. I've done videos on it before, um, but I thought I'd just do a quick review showing that this doesn't necessarily work very good. You might get lucky and order one of these, and it works fine. Uh, and this is also kind of a walkthrough to show you how how you have to do. Uh, a lot of these cars that you can't just simply let the air out of the tires. The the first, uh, I think in 09 and, and 2010, uh, you put your vehicle in uh, relearn mode, which I'm about to do. I've got the TPMS pulled up right now. I'm going to push and hold the uh, control column button. And when you do that, you're going to get this menu. Are you sure you want to relearn? Yes or no? I'm going to toggle up to yes. You'll get two uh, uh, honks on the horn. You always start with the left front tire. I've never seen a vehicle that you start with any other tire other than the driver's front. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get out and I'm going to try to use this tool right here and we're going to see how it goes. So, you want to make sure that does say tire learning active. And all you do is you come out, find your valve stem. I don't know if you can see that's kind of dark. And you hold it right up against your tire. Now, most, these are custom wheels, and I hate them. I've actually got a set of factory wheels I'm about to put on this car. These are going to be aftermarket sensors. I don't know what kind of sensors they are. Um, and that might be one reason why this doesn't want to work very good. But whenever I hold it up against the tire right in line with the sensor, you're supposed to hit the button. I've actually... Okay. It, it actually worked this time. We're going to go over to the... Now the uh, passenger tire... I did get this thing to work one time, so we're going to see if this will actually work every time. So 
so I'm right in line with the with the sensor pushing holding the button and I've put this thing all over the place trying to trying to get that next horn to honk and what should happen is the horn should honk again the one time I got this to work it, it did work on that uh, driver's front tire couldn't get it to work on any other tires so as you can see I am not having any luck at all getting this to work let's try let's try a rear tire okay there's the nothing you can see the light flashing and it's just not doing nothing Like I say, what should happen, it should trigger this sensor and let the module know that this sensor, it, it, it'll tell the module that this sensor will trigger and tell the module the tire pressure and, and all that good stuff. We'll try the last one here. Find the, uh, there it is. And then I'll get the tool that, that works every time. Now why this, like I said, this is the second time that I have been able to get this tool to work on just the uh, driver's front tire. I've not been able to get it to work on anything else. So let me get this thing set back up. I'll show you the tool that we're gonna use to get this job done. Let me get out of it. I'm gonna get out of this. And you can see now that it, you know it's 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 a failure. Got the flashing TPMS symbol. Um, and even though it honked the horn, you don't even see a pressure there on the the uh, front left tire. So I'm gonna push and hold the button again. We're gonna go back into relearn mode. We got our two honks. And I'm going to use my trusty Autel. And so I've just went into the TP. Let me go. Let me back out of this and show you. Hold on. Show you what, where I'm at. So on the T on the Autel. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that model number, but this is the. Uh, MS 906 TS. The TS stands for uh, tire pressure system. So it's got the TPMS software and it's got a little antenna. This little symbol right here, this is where the antenna they say is at. So I'm going to hit TPMS. I want to go ahead and hit the Camaro. Now you can, uh, you know what? We'll just go ahead and manually put it in. I do not have the uh, uh, VCI hooked up to the car, so this is not communicating with the car at all right now. Um, Camaro US, and this is a 2013, so. Okay, so I'm just gonna put the little antenna symbol right across from the valve stem. I'm going to hit trigger, should get a horn honk. Go over to the next tire, you can see that the, uh, the little symbol is now around the passenger front. Find the valve stem, there it is. Again, hit trigger. Make sure whichever uh, you know, wheel is selected on the machine, that's the wheel that you're on. Gonna hit trigger, should get a horn honk. 
and it gives you the the live data from the uh, from that particular sensor it gives you the pressure uh, frequency temperature and whether the battery is okay or not okay so now you'll see that the symbol is around the passenger rear I'm gonna hit trigger should get a horn honk now on this last one we'll get two honks if all goes well and you'll see that the uh, you know the trigger or the the wheel is selected for the um, driver's rear I'm gonna hit trigger and if all goes well we'll get us a honk and there's our two honks and there on this screen you know it'll show you all the the uh, IDs that's the individual uh, hexa, uh, hexadecimal ID number of those sensors so the car right now knows that those IDs they know what position the wheels are in so that particular ID belongs to the left front wheel so if you was to rotate your tires and not do this you could you could have a, a left front flat and the car is going to tell you that it would be a different wheel because you've you've mi mixed up the uh, you know the IDs from what the car is programmed to recognize if that made sense but anyway yeah, if you guys do any kind of tire work then uh, this is what's kind of nice about this particular machine you've also got programming oh, let me hit back Now you also have on this particular machine, you have a programming button where you can get into actual programming of individual uh, sensors. So if you had a sensor out on the bench, you can actually use this to, to, to program a, a sensor before you even put it on the car. So that's a pretty nice feature. And then you got relearn. And depending on... Uh, the vehicle um, it steps you through it tells you the procedure of course there's your symbology on the car um, it's got the same trigger button so it's going to work this this screen's going to work the same way as the other deal the other screen but on you also have obd2 relearn read from uh, read IDs from vehicle uh, read trouble codes clear codes um, so pretty versatile tool especially whenever it comes to TPMS. Um, this is normally the screen that I always go to and it's always worked for me uh, on all the cars I've done so far. I don't do a lot of tire work, so, you know, I really didn't even need a TS version, but I thought, you know what, if I'm gonna get one, I may as well get, you know, the their top of the line 906 version. Um, it's actually the only scanner that Autel makes that has built-in TPMS function uh, functionality they have dedicated TPMS tools that's just standalone separate but then you'd have to have a uh, you know a scanner so I opted for this and I like it anyway that's the procedure for uh, getting your TPMS uh, programmed at least on on this 2013 Camaro like I say it does not have the ability to let the tire pressures out uh, on the earlier cars you could actually get into the same exact procedure you went into the relearn just like it says just like it looked like up here on the screen and you would literally start at the uh, driver's front you'd start letting air out when the sensor you know once there was a, a two or three pound drop it would trigger that sensor the module would would recognize that since it was in the relearn uh, mode and you'd get the horn honk then you'd go to the right front tire you would do the same thing let the air out you would do that to all four tires uh, until you got a horn honk and you'd be done other than you'd have to put air back in the tires to bring them back up to whatever pressures uh, you ran them at 
um, GM, I think it was around 2012, it might have even been 2011, um, for whatever reason, canceled that ability to be able to do that yourself. Now you've got to be able to trigger the sensors with a tool. Luckily, I guess, they do make those inexpensive tools. I bought one just to see if it would work. Like you saw, it, it worked on the for some reason the the only two times that I've gotten it to work has been on the the uh, driver's front wheel I have not been able to get it to trigger any of the other three wheels that could be because it's just an aftermarket sensor in these wheels uh, the factory wheels which I do have a set of factory wheels that I'm going to put on this car uh, I'll try it with those factory wheels to see um, if it works on factory wheels um, but the Autel worked on these with no problem, so I was able to get the job done, and uh, all is good. Uh, oh, the only other thing that I that you need to kind of know about if you're going to get into TPMS work is uh, let me get back down here. We're going to manually. Select it and all the all the makes and models work off these two frequencies. If you notice, so from 2010 to it looks like looks like 2016, they work off the 315 megahertz frequency range. Is what these sensors work off of. Now, I guess on some 2016. Uh, they work off of the 433 megahertz frequency range. And this goes uh, all the way to 2018, uh, 433. I don't know what the clamp in 433 megahertz and snap in 433. Don't know the difference there. Have no idea. But I do know that regardless of make and model, the TPMS sensors are either going to be 315 megahertz or 433 so if you ever replace any of these yourself make sure that you're getting the right frequency sensor for your model because if not if you put 315 in a 433 megahertz system they're not going to be recognized and vice versa the module on the vehicle will only recognize what it's programmed to recognize. If it's supposed to be 433, make sure you put 433 in it. If it's 315, make sure you put 315 in it. Um, so, you know, just be aware of that. Uh, as far as I know, that's the only two frequency ranges that TPMS systems use. I haven't seen any others. If there are some, they're very oddball. Um, you know, maybe some. I know all the domestics use 315 and 433, uh, and all the imports that I've seen use one of those two also. Um, but anyway, that's about all I got. I was just kind of wanting to show you that 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 ten dollar tool didn't necessarily work for me. I've tried it and tried it and tried it, and like I say, the only two times I've gotten it to work was on that left front tire. Uh, the Autel works every time, so just be aware if you buy one, it may or may not work for you. Take care.